Welcome back. So here's a solution to that first question I asked you about what happens when your mind gets fuzzy headed and you're confused and stressed out after leaving work. Well, one of the things that I do is I go out into nature as often as I possibly can. Now I know we've all got busy workloads, busy days, but the best time to do this is either first thing in the morning or after tea in the evening time. Give yourself 15, 20 minutes to go and walk into nature, a park, in the countryside, by a lake, and just let those thoughts just be sucked up by nature, because it will do that. There's no accident that hospitals have their walls painted green. It's a great colour to soak up all of that mental chatter we have. Go out into nature and just let your thoughts go out, and you'll feel fresher, more alive, when you enter back into the house, I promise you, you'll feel better. You'll feel as though you've got something off your chest. That's a huge uh, tip to help you move forward in handling all of those stresses that you're having during the day. And don't forget, they are mental stresses that are put onto us by society, by an artificial environment. Doesn't it make sense that the opposite of that, nature outside, would be the solution to those conditions? And one of the questions that you may have answered yes to was feeling frustrated with your low levels of energy, feeling like you're tired and lethargic all the time. Now one of the things that I share with the clients that I help to improve their health is by drinking water. Underestimated and a lot of us don't do enough of it but by drinking two, two and a half to three litres of water a day you will see a huge improvement and a huge boost in your levels of energy. We as humans are 65, 70% depending on where you read water. So in order for your body to function at its best, it needs good levels of water. In order for your immune system to function at its best, it needs good level of water. In order to have that mental focus, that mental clarity, you need good levels of water. So if you're feeling lethargic, feeling tired, feeling a bit down, drink some water. I'm not talking about coffees, I'm not talking about teas, I'm talking about good quality water. By doing that, you're going to see a huge improvement in your levels of energy. So the second question um, I asked you was, uh, how do you go about fulfilling those dreams that those natural voices when you're driving home from work that are saying there's got to be more? How can I, how, can, how on earth can I squeeze into my busy day that dream to do whatever it is in your, in your head? Here's a solution to that question. It's something I've always done, both Mike and I do every day, is we study. And that just means, doesn't mean sitting in a library for hours on end, studying great big volumes and lots of work. No, 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 no. This, this is five to ten minutes, maybe first thing in the morning, to set your day off. Just reading something really empowering, just to settle those thoughts down and keep you focused. That provide some of those answers from authors who've made their dreams come true by living a busy lifestyle but also reading in the evening time just for five to ten minutes you know your life is going to be directed by the books the people and the places that you spend most of your time with so doesn't it make sense to find a really good book to study with and there's, there's loads out there find the one that, that works best for you if I was to give you a book now that I love it may not be your favorite book but you'll find it if you go looking so study find out more about yourselves as I'm always saying, we know more about the operating system of our computers and our files where everything's kept than we do about ourselves. That's, that's a huge way forward to helping you answer the question to your dreams. Now the final question that I'm going to help you to answer is about weight. Now, many people want to get weight down, want to improve their fitness levels. And you may be someone who's tried to lose weight before only to get frustrated by the weight going back up. Now I admit, there is a lot of confusion when it comes to managing our weight and what is the best way for us to get in shape, lose weight and feel confident about how we look and feel really proud in the clothing that we wear. Because many of us hide our clothes away in the back of the wardrobe because we're not feeling comfortable wearing those clothes. So what is the best way? Now one of the simplest things that you can do to begin to manage your weight effectively is by tracking. Now monitoring and measuring is a huge step in moving forward and getting down to your ideal way. Now if you're not tracking at the moment, you're just kind of guessing and thinking, oh I'm gonna miss out that particular food or I'm going to miss out that particular meal, 
but you're not paying attention to it. monitoring that on a regular basis tracking is going to be a huge step forward for you so if you want to learn how to find out more about exercising you want to find out more about what is the best way to get your energy levels up you want to find out more about how you can start moving towards living the life of your dreams and really fulfilling those desires that you have maybe tucked down deep inside but you haven't got the courage you feel like to pursue them i'd like to invite you along to our next think to thrive workshop it's a workshop held here at the mccure hotel on the 29th of september where you will have the opportunity to meet like-minded people and really tap into the experiences that myself and tony have gathered over the years over 10 15 20 years of experience we're going to be condensing down into one day giving you the information that you can actually apply to move forward because you know the saying is knowledge is power but that's not actually true it's applied knowledge is power and we're going to be giving you tips that you can actually apply you can take away at the end of the day and start really integrating into your life so that's going to move you towards having more energy it's going to have you boosted in levels of confidence it's going to have you really taking action steps to living and moving towards the life of your dreams. So if you feel like that's something that you want to get involved with and you feel like the time is now, take action. Click on that link below and join us here on the 29th of September on our next Think to Thrive workshop. <laughs> Finally, you know how e easy it is, or all human beings, how easy it is to put something off. We all do it. We put the dream off one day. We put the dream off months. Before we know it, we've put that dream back, that goal, by years. And then suddenly we turn around and say, if only. Don't let that become a mental virus for you for the future. Mike and I have got all of this experience, as Mike's already mentioned, we want to put this down into one day. And if you added the years together, we'd be looking at maybe 50 years worth of information. We're deep, deep studiers. We live by these, uh, these ideas. To get that into one day, that's huge. Join us on that day, don't put this off. As Mike says, click on the link below and it's gonna be an absolute joy to share this information with you. From Mike and Tony, here's to your success.